So in this clip I'll show you the prep work for coursework that was required for coursework 1. We're starting out with the almost clean spreadsheet that was available for you. I shall save that as coursework 1 solutions or coursework 1. All right. So um, what I'm not going to do is the, the job on the time uh, data. They need to be cleaned first. There was another clip on this and then just um, frequencies counted in categories. What I'll deal with here is the joint probability table. So prep part A2, calculate the joint probability table for the variable gender and jobs. So what we need is we need to highlight the table somewhere inside the table we go to insert and we're going to use the pivot table tool that is just the easiest so there's a new sheet I shall call that pivot and let me increase the size a bit so the task is now the joint probability table for gender and job so the way how to do that is we have sort of the structure of a table here, column labels, row labels, doesn't so we need gender and jobs, doesn't matter which one goes into which, which one goes into columns and which one to row labels. So now we have the structure of our table. In fact we want to unselect the planks. So but what this table doesn't have yet is sort of values. So to do that Let's briefly look at the data table. What we need is one column which has entries in each row. And the easiest one is the student column. That just has entries in every row. Five, eight, six, eight entries. So let's drag that student variable into the values column. Now it will start off with, you can see that down here, if you can read it, sum of student. So in each cell, it 710 now is the sum of the student variable for all those which are female and answered one in the job for the jobs question. Now that's not what we want. We don't want the sum of the student ID. We just want to know how many there were. So we just change from sum to count. So just in case that was too quick, I click on the little triangle, value field settings, and here we choose count. And now you can see the counts. Um, it counts up to five, seven, eight, because that's how many observations. We have, well, actually, we have a few more observations. We have five, eight, six observations, but we uh, removed the planks. Okay, remember, we deselected the planks. Okay, so this is our frequency table. So let me control C, highlight control C, and now go to the coursework one. And here I paste that with paste values. Okay, so these were the frequencies, this was the jobs question, and that was the gender question. So now, of course, we are being asked to calculate not the joint frequency table, but the joint probability table. The easiest way to do that, let me first just put the headings in bold. It's a bit easier to see what's happening. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just copy this but then I delete all the entries so because I don't want frequencies now I want probabilities and how do I calculate them this one is going to be 8 out of the grand total 578 that 578 I am gonna fix that with dollar signs and I press enter and we just increase that. I'll just repeat that again so you can see it. So what's the joint probability of being female and answering one to the jobs question? It's equal to eight divided by the total number of responses and that one I fix in value. So I'll put the cursor in here and I press F4 and I'll put the dollars in but you can do that manually as well. Press enter. So uh, a bit more than one percentage point. So now we can just copy that across and copy that down and what we get is three probability distributions which I highlight in a minute but let's first check that we are calculating the right thing. What's the joint probability of being male and answering five? Male and five in here 
it's f5 if you double click on this you can see the fields used f5 divided by this one that is correct so what you can now see here is that yellow highlighted region region is the joint probability table the green region here is the marginal probability of jobs and probability distribution and this here is the marginal probability distribution of gender so that was task a2 let me very quickly do that for the for a3 to a5 so um, a3 we want to replace the gender variable with uk so all we got to do is drag uk in here again we will remove the plank okay and then i shall copy this and paste this in here always values and then we had jobs here and that was the uk variable and that was the frequency table here we go so to calculate the probability table i copy this remove the frequencies calculate the joint probabilities remembering to fix the total copy it copy it and let's continue with the color marking the marginals marginal distributions are green and the yellow ones the joint and then task a4 uk and religion so we have uk in here already so it means we'll replace jobs with religion again for religion we are supposed to delete the plank but use the no answer so that's our frequency table again let me copy it across paste values that was frequency I should say this of course was probabilities frequencies and then we'll calculate the probability table that's equal to that divided by this and f4 to fix it here we go our joint probability and here and here are the marginal probabilities and the last job is lying and religion so religion is in here already we need to replace the UK with lying and again we shall remove the planks there we go copied paste frequency that was religion Actually, now up here we had religion as well I hadn't relabeled this this was religion and this was UK religion and UK now we have religion and lying again we bold this we bold this and we calculate the probability table deleting this and now using the frequencies to calculate the probability table oops there we go marginal probabilities and joint probabilities so now you were asked questions on the basis of these four joint probability distributions I'll 
just um, I won't be able to answer all the possible questions because there are so many questions in the database but I'll show you what I think are all the type of questions I would have asked on the basis of this joint probability I may have asked question just tell me what's the joint probability for being male and answering two in the uh, uh, jobs questions that would be 0.01384 so that's pretty straightforward the uh, less straightforward questions are those that involved conditional probabilities and joint probabilities assuming independence Okay. Of course, uh, as I said before, the green data are marginal probabilities. So, of course, could have also asked you a question: uh, What's the marginal probability of being female? And that would be here, 0 0.4654. So, what about conditional probabilities? So, here, for instance, we're asking the probability that uh, jobs is equal to four, provided gender is equal to male okay so let's say this is the probability we are asking and basically what that means is that at this stage we are really only looking at the data for for the males okay let me do this let me do this in red so what you would have learned in the lecture how we calculate this is that we take the probability for sorry no, it's not that this is the same as the probability for jobs equals four and gender equals male so that would be the joint probability so this is a yellow probability, and no, I can't do this in yellow, you, you won't see it, divided by the marginal probability of the conditional variable. So divided by the marginal probability of gender being equal to male. So this is really the two things we need to find now in the table. Let's just cut this down. So is equal to the joint probability of jobs equals four and gender male would be this one e12 in my table 0 0.0519 and the marginal probability of being male is this guy here in l12 0.5346 so i'll divide by this and what i get is 0 0.09709 so that would be the probability of answering four to the jobs question given a respondent is male. So that's how you calculate a join, uh, conditional probabilities. Let me calculate one more. Let's calculate the probability, we we'll turn it the other way around, of gender equal to female conditional on the jobs answer being answered with 10. So what we need here is the probability of female and jobs equal to 10 and then divided by the marginal probability of the conditioning one and that's here the jobs equal 10 so divided by jobs equal to 10 so where do we find these the joint probability of female and jobs 10 is this guy here in what is that k11 and we divide by the marginal probability of jobs equal 10 that is in k13 so here the conditional probability of being female given someone answered jobs equal 10 is 0 0.444 so that's how we calculate the uh, conditional probabilities what about joint probabilities assuming independence so let's say we let's actually use the above uh, probabilities. So let's say 
we want the probability of jobs equals 4 and gender equals male <coughs> conditional on independence um, oops, I don't want this red anymore and we have learned that this is just the product of the two marginal probabilities so that will be equal to the probability of jobs equals 4 times the probability of gender being equal to male. And where do we have these? Pro marginal probability of jobs equals 4 is this guy times probability of marginal probability of gender equal male is this guy. So we have 0.05087. So this is somewhat different to 0 0.0519. This is the probability which we actually see. Doesn't look a lot. That doesn't seem to be a lot of difference. Now, of course, eventually the question is is going to be if the assumption of independence isn't going to be true, then we should see significant differences. Um, we need to learn how to establish what's significant, but that wasn't part of this test. So with this information, you should really be able to, to answer all the questions uh, you were thrown at in the quiz. Thank you.